Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. What in the world of Asalaamu is going on here, okay? So if you guys do not know, a lot of folks been asking me to talk about this whole Lindsay Lohan situation, okay? So first of all, everybody's favorite mean girl, Lindsay Lohan, was out here in Moscow, Russia. She was out in Europe for Fashion Week, as we all know Fashion Week was a major thing this past week. Is that yeah, even Cardi B is in here, right? Because she was banned. Where are you? So she decided to leave Paris and then, you know, show up in Moscow. And so while she was there, she ended up running into like this Syrian family. And she basically starts harassing this family. She's saying that she wants to take the kids to a hotel, that they shouldn't be sleeping on the streets. You know, the parents are there with the children and they're kind of nervous about how Lindsay Lohan is coming at them, okay? She's like going full juggler. She's bugging. She's trying to take these kids from their family. And eventually her ass gets punched in the damn face, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this full clip. I want you guys to check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey everyone, um, I just want to show you a family that I met that's a Syrian refugee family. Um, that I'm really worried about because I'm going to introduce to them. Michelle, tell me your story so I can help you. Want to come tell them? What do you need? What do you need? Do you want to stay in a hotel tonight? Do you want to watch movies? Yeah. It'd be so cool, right? To watch a movie on TV or a computer. Yeah. Let's go. Let me take them. Let them sleep. Come with me. You and me come. Just come. Just come with me. Not, the, not your husband. Just... You and your kids. You shouldn't be sleeping on the floor. But you're a good little boy. And this is not fair. You should not have them on the floor. You should be a hardworking woman. I'm freezing right now. And you should be doing what you do for your children so they have a better life. No. This is dirty. Leave it. No, 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 no. I will no. get you new. I will get no, you new. No, 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 no. Leave it. Uh, dirty. How do you want Chavez? I do. Ew. It's what? Leave it. No, party, party, Chavez. Come. No, we got. Guys, guys. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. And a chalas. Guys, you're going the wrong way. My car's here. Cut. Look what's happening. They're trafficking children. I won't leave until I take you. Now I know who you are. Don't fuck with me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Really, Lindsay? Really? If you don't sit your privilege, I feel like being a Muslim today because it's something I just feel the need to do because I think it's cute because I'm trying out different cultures ass down somewhere. You know, the thing that really bothered me about this is that, first of all, this family's homeless. They're already going through a lot. And then all of a sudden you have this arrogant ass American coming at them, claiming that, you know, this is a family that she knew, that she's trying to help. Obviously, these people do not know who she is. But because of her arrogance and because she thinks she's a celebrity, 
Everyone in the world must know who Lindsay Lohan is. And if Lindsay Lohan offers you some help, you should just take it. You know, she was talking to the family. They were obviously uncomfortable. And instead of her leaving them alone, she kept harassing them. She was telling the kids, you know, I'm a count to three and you guys run. Then she turned around and told the kids that they're ruining Arabic culture. And then if, and then if that wasn't bad enough, she then started shouting and accusing the parents who were simply minding their own business, homeless with their children. She was accusing them of child trafficking. The arrogance in this video is just crazy. And did you guys notice her accent? She went from talking with this thick, you know, Syrian slash, you know, Islamic accent accent but then when her ass got punched in the damn face all of a sudden she was that lily white girl from california okay all of a sudden it was ah, ah, they don't punch me in my face it's like well damn honey what, what happened to that thick ass muslim accent okay that you were trying to sit there and perpetuate and then as soon as shit got real all of a sudden you were lily white Lindsay lohan from california you know what i mean like this entire situation is really disturbing and what i also find disturbing is that the people who are watching her live stream they're encouraging this fuck shit okay if you guys see the people who are watching her live stream they're saying you know oh my god Lindsay, keep trying keep trying to help them you know you have to save them you know this is insane imagine put yourself in these parents shoes these are their children, okay? They're not looking for the great white hope, Lindsay Lohan, to come and save them. Okay, they've been homeless for a while. I'm sure that, you know, it sucks. It's cold outside. You know, that's not where they would prefer to be. But what makes you think that they're about to just give you their children? They don't know who you are. They don't know you from a can of paint. They're just supposed to let you take their two children with you to God knows where. That's insane to me. If this was a grown man trying to accost these children, no one would be making excuses. No one would be saying, oh, Lindsay's just trying to do the right thing. She's just trying to save these children. Nobody asked for your help. And obviously the parents were, you know, trying to warn you, like, you know, leave us alone. You know what I'm saying? Get the camera out of our face. The parents got up with their kids and started walking. And at that point, Lindsay Lohan got mad and kept accosting them and kept talking down to them. And then you have the nerd to accuse these parents of child trafficking. Honey, you're lucky that's all she did was punch you in the face, okay? She had every right to punch you in the damn face. How dare you accuse her of child trafficking when you're trying to take her children from her and she don't know you from a damn hole in the wall? This entire situation to me is just crazy. It just screams privilege at best, okay? The fact that she thinks that she's rich and privileged, that this poor Syrian couple should just hand over their children that they gave birth to, that they've been raising and trying to take care of, to Lindsay Lohan. I don't know you from a can of paint, but I'm gonna let you take my two minor children with you to some random hotel room to go watch some movies. Like, chick, are you for real? Lindsay Lohan is clearly crying out for help. Okay, instead of people making excuses for her, instead of people gassing her up and trying to make her feel like she's doing the right thing, which she's not, people need to sit down and talk to her, okay? Now, it's been a few days since this incident. The only thing she's done or even mentioned since then is basically celebrating the movie Mean Girls. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. <laughs> You know, she talked about that. She talked about the pink shirt that she wore in the movie, but she's not speaking about how she harassed and accosted this Syrian family. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I don't feel sorry for Lindsay Lohan at all. You know, I understand, you know, she wants to convert to Islam and she wants to know more about the culture. That's fine if that's what's truly in her heart to do. But all this harassing people and trying to play, you know, the great white hope and, you know, rescue these children from their parents and then accuse them of child trafficking, that to me is overboard and I did not respect what she did in that video. There was nothing about her trying to help them. That was some self-serving bullshit. And especially the fact that she was talking in this thick Muslim accent. And then as soon as she got punched in the damn face, all of a sudden, you know, the accent disappeared, okay? This girl is full of shit. I'm gonna need Lindsay Lohan to have several damn seats and a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Let them damn parents raise their kids the best way they know how, okay? I'm sure they're embarrassed enough that they're sleeping on the streets with their children. That's not an ideal situation for any parent. But for you to shove a camera in their face and then when they don't, you know, bow down to your whim and praise you and everything else, you then accuse them of child trafficking. Girl, if you don't go sit down somewhere and go study some more, go learn some more about the Shahada, okay? Go, go, go study the five pillars of Islam and leave this poor family alone, okay? Stop harassing folks in these other countries thinking that you're the great white hope and you're trying to save people when they're not asking for you to save them, okay? Thank you. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment, honey. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Lindsay Lohan, out here harassing folks and accusing parents of trafficking their own damn children because they don't want Lindsay Lohan's help and she's offended by that. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Miss Gay!
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.